And they said, we'd like you to write us a play. And it could be about anything you want and just think about it and call us up. And then I had a dream. <laughs> American playwright Tony Kushner has won numerous prizes, including the Pulitzer Prize for Drama. He's like a gravitational force that keeps the rest of us honest, because we look at that example and we say, that's what the theater's capable of. Set me free. Does an individual so identified fit in the food chain and the pecking order? Heal the whole world now, now, now! Do you ever get bored of writing? I don't ever get bored of writing, but I hate writing. I sit down to write, my hand hurts, my back hurts, I get a headache, I want to eat a box of chocolate chip cookies. It's over. With these kind of reviews, there's not going to be enough heat to get this to Broadway. This is Temple Sinai. I was bar mitzvahed here. Grandma's here and she was like this tall. <laughs> I was this like sissy. I thought boys were cuter than girls when I was six. I mean, I knew that I was gay. My father struggled with it. He didn't want me to be gay. It seemed to me, you know, that I was losing him. As you may have noticed, this isn't quite your typical wedding. <laughs> Very long and happy life. <laughs> The great thing about being gay is that I get to talk about sex in a bank. <laughs> we do not trust his cronies, we do not trust his motives, and so we say no to war. I keep refining it to make it have the thing that makes it crackle and come alive on stage. It is a very intimate act to live inside his very big brain, but also his very big heart. As far as I'm concerned, it's an ethical obligation to look for hope. It's an ethical obligation not to despair. If you look, there's always the possibility of finding a place where action can change the course of things. Tony Kushner.